Clutch Truckery is filmed before a live studio audience. I finally got him to look at the freaking camera this time. Can you believe it? Right, Rusty? <laughs> yeah, I know. Hey, YouTube, Clutch Trucker here. I, um, I was wondering why in my last couple of videos, you know, I bought this handy dandy light. Yeah, you know, here it is. You know, this. I have to turn it off so you can kind of see what it looks like. Anyway. I had wondered why my last couple of videos, why I didn't seem as bright as I had right after I bought my little light. Well, that's because it comes with uh, crappy batteries. And I just replaced them with some energizers and hey, funny thing, you can see me again. All right, so the topic of this video is uh, ways you can save money being an owner operator. And I had a great example today because I carry a complete spare tire on a wheel mounted, aired up, ready to go, and it saved my butt today. Now in one of my very early videos when I first started uh, trying to do these things, I did uh, show an out when I was down in Cartersville, Georgia I think it was, uh, an outer view of my truck and trailer and a better look at my tire rack on the back. And uh, I've got some video here also of my tire rack this morning, but of course it's dark. So I tried using my light uh, to illuminate it a little bit, but you don't, you, you can't really see it too well. So I'm going to put in also a slice of that video from um, when I was down in Georgia where you can see the rack a little bit better. It's a great spare tire carrier for a semi. You got to have the space on, uh, you know, near your catwalk in between your frame to put it in there, but it's uh, all metal. It's welded. It's solid steel and he even uh, welds in a chain so you can lock it tight so no one will steal your spare tire, which you don't want to have happen. So we'll look at some video of uh, my tire rack. Okay, it's still dark, so I'm attempting this now, but you can kind of see the tire rack there mounted to the uh, frame of my truck with my airline swinging down below it. And it holds a uh, complete tire and wheel, my tire rack. Guy in uh, Charlotte, uh, North Carolina makes those tire racks. They're a great tire rack. I can't remember his name, but if you just Google tire rack, spare tire carrier, you'll find him in North Carolina. Great spare tire carrier. Uh, web address is uh, spare semi tire carrier dot com all right spare semi tire carrier all mashed together dot com and you can find this guy's website uh, I think he's a, he's a Russian guy he uh, he's a welder and he makes these things he, he does like fancy railings and stuff too but he's found a niche uh, with these tire racks and they're a great tire rack and like I say they have a chain included in them so you just add a padlock and it'll, uh, you know, keep people from stealing your spare tire. Also, on his website, once you go to that, he's got even uh, gas tank locks, fuel tank locks. Uh, he's got Volvo ones. He's got ones for Freightliners as well. I haven't bought the Freightliner ones yet, but I'm damn tempted to because I've had fuel stolen from me before. And boy, does that chap my her. Ha, ha. That'll get your undies in a bundle if nothing else will. Right, drivers? So anyway, go check this guy's uh, website out, and uh, you can get one of these too. Now, he's in Charlotte, uh, North Carolina, and it costs a lot to ship them because they're heavy. But I was, uh, oh, a couple states away, and I called my dispatcher and said, Hey, get me down to North Carolina uh, near Charlotte. I want to go get one of these tire racks. And so then my wife uh, basically gave that to me for Christmas, and he even mounted it for me uh, himself. And it's a great way to go, and that way you're always prepared. Okay, so uh, I was talking about this spare tire carrier, this uh, tire rack I have on the back of my cab uh, between my truck and trailer, and it fits right there in the frame. It's great. I've got more details all about that coming up. Uh, what saved my butt today is, uh, you know, I, I had a, a load of these um, empty carts from Amazon going back to a place in sparks nevada a recycling uh place why i had to go all the way to nevada with these i don't know because there's recycling metal recycling places all over and as i after i got there today uh the guy said oh you know i don't understand we have another place in denver and i'm like yeah i came from inglewood which is right next door why i had to bring it all the way to uh, nevada i 
I, whatever. It was a good paying load. I'm going to take it. And it was light. I had 10 racks. That's all I had coming back. Anyway, um, the problem is uh, the yard, of course, is not filled with scrap metal and stuff. And so I probably picked up a piece of little shrapnel uh, in my trailer tire at that yard. So after I went and picked up my next load and I'm driving back uh, to the to the east, uh, I stop for a quick break and uh, I, I usually try to remember to thump my tires every time I stop. And so I did. And I noticed my right outside rear trailer tire was not completely flat, but was low on air, you know, where everything else had a nice thunk to it. This one had a thunk. <laughs> And, you know, drivers, you thump your tires, you know, that's a bad sign. You want that thunk, thunk, thunk sound. You don't want the thunk sound. So I decided to try to make it up to that TA. Uh, I figured I could make it up there without completely shredding the tire because it still had some air in it. And, uh, you know, it was kind of holding its shape and everything. So I got up there and I uh, went on the uh, uh, Petro TA uh, Truck Smart app. I even got myself in line ahead of time before getting there. First time I ever used that for the truck service, that was handy. Because then when I got there, I just walked inside and said, hi, I uh, put a thing on the app. She said, oh, hi, uh, and said my name. And I'm like, wow, yeah, I'm all ready to go. They put me up behind the door. I only had to wait about 45 minutes. They pulled me in. And uh, of course, they pulled the tire off. They looked around. They finally found the chunk of shrapnel in there. And of course, it was right near the damn firewall so they wouldn't repair it and uh, so they said well you have to buy a new tire and so I went in to see how much the uh, tires were because I have Roadmasters on my trailer that I got a great deal on in Alden Nebraska last December well now this tire was damn near 400 bucks I'm like yeah I'm not paying 400 bucks for that for that you know Roadmaster no thank you I have a Uniroyal that I just bought oh a couple of months ago on my spare tire carrier on a wheel aired up ready to go let's use that so we just pulled that one off uh they rolled it back there uh they took the old tire well they they're already taken the old tire off put that one on slapped the lug nuts back on all they charged me for was a tire rotation fee my total charge twenty dollars and 21 cents hey that's freaking awesome and I was in and out of there in under an hour. Uh, so I just had them leave the, um, the tire that now has the bad piece of shrapnel in it near the firewall that they won't repair on the wheel because it sits better in the rack that way. And put that back on the rack and pff, I was out of there. I was gone and um, worked great. So now what I can do is I bought the, the tire I had on that spare tire rack was a Uniroyal I got at a Bosch shop. Uh, when I needed to replace uh, a, a tire that I had already swapped out once before. And it was only, I think, uh, 2 dollars So I'm heading back to Iowa. When I go that way, I'll stop at the Boss Shop somewhere along the way and um, buy another one of these Uniroyals so I can have a matching set on that axle. And I'll just hand them the, uh, the wheel and tires there, right, put it on this wheel, and now mount that next to that other Uniroyal on the right rear axle and then I'll take what's left on the inside right rear axle, which is a uh, uh, Roadmaster baked by Cooper, and it's still uh, in fairly decent shape, so that'll be my spare tire, and that'll go on my rack, and yet, see now, I had the choice. I uh, was able to swap it out, get fixed, get back on the road in under an hour, only paid 20 bucks for that. Now, I get to choose when and where I want to replace that tire, and I can save money. So that'll be my spare tire back there on my rack. So there's another great, you know, uh, money-saving tip for owner-operators. I got that spire, uh, the spare tire rack after I had to do a road call once. It cost me $1,000 to replace one trailer tire. I swore I'd never do that ever again. That's why I always carry now a fully inflated, on a wheel, ready to go trailer tire because your trailer tires, honestly, guys, they're the ones who are always going to blow out. That you know, you scrape curbs, blah blah blah. You're going to have issues with those the most. So I carry a trailer tire on a wheel, ready to go. All right, hope that helps you out. Uh, that's another good owner-operator tip for you. Uh, those tire racks are great. Uh, I've loved mine so far. 
Uh, and like I say, on that uh, website, you can also see where he has the uh, fuel tank locks for Volvos and Freightliners. I still plan to get mine uh, because I have been stolen from on fuel, and that's annoying. So uh, anyway, thanks for tuning in, everybody, to the Clutch Trucker channel. As always, uh, ring the bell, uh, subscribe, please. Uh, hit the like, uh, comment if you would like. Uh, sniff the magic YouTube fairy dust. As always, clutch out.